In the early 70s, a hijacker calling himself D.B. Cooper jumped from an airliner in flight and disappeared in the woods of the Pacific Northwest. Have you ever pondered the puzzling and unexplained phenomena that happen at high altitudes? The realm of aviation is riddled with mysteries and peculiar incidents that have both bewildered experts and captivated the public. This video specifically explores seven spine-chilling events that occurred during flights, causing a sensation worldwide and making a lasting impression in aviation history. Number 1. Disappeared Then Reappeared Mysterious Flight 513 The enigma surrounding Flight 513 remains a distinctive account among aviation historians. This tale of vanishing and re-emerging not only puzzled the aviation community, but also ignited a fierce debate among conspiracy theorists and skeptics. On September 4, 1954, Santiago Airlines' Lockheed Super Constellation airliner, Flight 513, departed from Aachen, Germany with 88 passengers bound for Porto Alegre, Brazil. The expected duration was approximately 18 hours, a fairly routine time frame for flights during that era. However, Flight 513 never reached its destination. After transmitting a routine in-flight message, the aircraft and its occupants disappeared without any traces. As customary with missing planes, extensive search and rescue efforts were undertaken, but no wreckage or indication of the aircraft's whereabouts was ever discovered. As time passed by weeks turned into months, and months turned into years, the mystery surrounding Flight 513 appeared destined to endure unsolved, adding to the list of aircraft disappearances without concise explanations. The families and friends of those aboard were left in a state of despair, devoid of any closure. Then, on October 12, 1989, 35 years after its vanishing, Flight 513 was spotted in the skies above Porto Alegre. The plane executed its landing approach and safely touched down at the Porto Alegre airport, astonishing air traffic controllers and ground personnel. Skeptics contend that the account of Flight 513 is an intricate fabrication or an urban legend, noting the absence of official records or public documentation concerning this flight. They argue that there are no concrete foundations for the aircraft's disappearance or reappearance, drawing attention to the lack of passenger manifests, air traffic control logs, or any other form of empirical evidence. Nevertheless, the tale of Santiago Flight 513 remains captivating. It persists as an unsolved riddle, a disconcerting narrative of a flight that vanished into the unknown and returned after more than three decades, seemingly frozen in time. Whether a product of collective imagination or an authentic, unexplained occurrence, the Chronicle of Flight 513 endures as an eerie depiction of the uncharted possibilities within the realms of time and space. It serves as a reminder that even with our significant technological advancements and comprehension, certain aspects of our reality continue to elude understanding, evoking our curiosity and a sense of wonder about the world and what lies beyond. Number 2. The Jump into the Unknown D.B. Cooper Hijacking the case of D.B. Cooper is one of the most fascinating and enduring mysteries in aviation history, a hijacking that took place on November 24, 1971. Instead of a missing plane, it involved a daring criminal who seemed to disappear into thin air. On that day, a man using the name Dan Cooper boarded a Northwest Orient Airlines flight from Portland to Seattle. He appeared to be an ordinary middle-aged man, dressed in a business suit with a black tie and white shirt, and carrying a black attache case. Surprisingly, he was polite and well-spoken, not the type one would expect from a hardened criminal. Shortly after taking off, Cooper passed a note to a flight attendant, claiming he had a bomb in his briefcase and that the plane was being hijacked. When the flight attendant opened the case, she saw red cylinders, wires, and a battery, an apparent bomb. Cooper made his demands clear. He wanted $200,000 in cash, four parachutes, and a fuel truck to be ready upon landing in Seattle. The authorities were alerted and worked quickly to meet Cooper's demands, fearing for the safety of the passengers. Cooper allowed everyone to disembark when the plane arrived in Seattle. Once his demands were met, he instructed the crew to fly towards Mexico City. However, Cooper had specific requirements for the flight. He wanted the plane to fly at a low altitude, with the landing gear down, and at a slower speed. These conditions were ideal for a parachute jump between Seattle and Reno during a rainstorm. 
In an astonishing move, Cooper jumped from the back stairs of the still-flying Boeing 727 into the dark and stormy night, taking the ransom money with him. When the plane landed in Reno, authorities swarmed the aircraft, but D.B. Cooper had vanished. A massive manhunt was launched, lasting for decades, but no trace of Cooper, the parachute, or the money was found, except for a small stash of bills discovered years later near the Columbia River. Over the years, countless suspects were put forward, with some even confessing to being Cooper, but none could be definitively proven to be the elusive hijacker. The case of D.B. Cooper became a legendary part of American folklore, with admiration for his ingenious escape and law enforcement's inability to capture him. It also had a significant impact on aviation security, leading to stricter measures worldwide. To this day, the D.B. Cooper hijacking remains the only unsolved case of air piracy in commercial aviation history. In 2016, the FBI officially closed its active investigation, but the case file remains open in case any significant physical evidence related to the parachutes or the money emerges. Number 3. The Ghostly Encounter Eastern Airlines Flight 401 the story of the Eastern Airlines Flight 401 incident is a haunting tale that had a lasting impact on aviation history. Taking place on December 29, 1972, this incident brought attention to the idea of supernatural occurrences and their potential effects on flight safety. The flight, which had 176 passengers and 13 crew members aboard a Lockheed L-1011 TriStar, was traveling from New York to Miami. Captain Bob Loft and First Officer Albert Stockstill were focused on troubleshooting a malfunctioning landing gear indicator light, unaware of the dire consequences that awaited them. Unbeknownst to the crew, the plane unexpectedly descended below its assigned altitude while they were preoccupied. As a result, Flight 401 crashed into the dark Everglades at full speed, causing a devastating impact and the tragic loss of 101 lives. What adds intrigue to this incident are the alleged ghostly encounters reported in the months and years following the crash. Crew members and passengers claim to have seen apparitions of the deceased pilot, Bob Loft, and flight engineer, Don Repo. These sightings occurred in various locations, including other Eastern Airlines aircraft that had salvaged parts from the crashed TriStar. People reported witnessing the apparitions of the crew members in the cockpit, as well as interacting with what they believed to be real flight attendants who were actually passengers who had died in the Flight 401 crash. These paranormal experiences created a sense of unease and sparked supernatural speculation among Eastern Airlines staff and the wider aviation community. In response, the airline took action by removing salvage parts from Flight 401 aircraft and replacing them with new components to address the concerns and fears of crew members and passengers. Eastern Airlines also introduced a comprehensive employee support program to assist those affected by the crash and subsequent ghostly encounters. The impact of Eastern Airlines Flight 401 extends beyond the tragic crash itself. It highlights the importance of crew awareness and attentiveness during critical stages of a flight. The incident also shed light on the psychological toll traumatic events can have on aviation personnel, leading to improved support systems and counseling services within the industry. While skeptics dismiss the ghostly encounters as mere coincidences or exaggerations, the story of Flight 401 continues to captivate those interested in the intersection of aviation and the supernatural. It serves as a reminder that tragic events can have effects beyond the physical realm, influencing perceptions and beliefs long after the incident. Number 4 the flight that returned from the past. Case of Vanished Flight 914. The aviation community has witnessed perplexing mysteries throughout history, and the story of Flight 914, known as the plane that arrived 37 years late, is one such enigma that continues to intrigue and create controversy. On July 2, 1955, Flight 914, operated by Pan American World Airways, embarked on a routine flight from New York to Miami with 57 passengers and six crew members. However, the plane vanished without a trace, with no wreckage or distress signals found. Despite extensive search operations, the plane was declared missing, leaving the aviation community puzzled and families devastated. 
Over the years, Flight 914's disappearance became another unexplained event in aviation history. However, the story took a bizarre turn on September 9, 1992. A plane claiming to be Pan Am Flight 914 from New York to Miami emerged from thick clouds and requested landing at the Caracas Airport Control Tower in Venezuela. Air traffic controllers, aware of the plane's disappearance decades earlier, granted landing clearance with a sense of disbelief and apprehension. The plane that landed was indeed a Douglas DC-4, the same model as Flight 914, and looked brand new despite being nearly 40 years old. The pilot was confused as the airport didn't match his expectations of Miami. When informed of the current year, he couldn't believe it. Strangely, the passengers and crew appeared to be untouched by the passing of time. This event gave rise to various speculations and theories, including wormholes, time warps, and extraterrestrial involvement. However, skeptics challenged the credibility of the story due to the lack of concrete evidence, such as official flight records, passenger lists, or reliable eyewitness testimonies. No physical proof, such as the actual aircraft or personal belongings of the passengers, has ever been presented. Additionally, the absence of follow-up reports or investigations fuels skepticism. While some consider the tale of Flight 914's time travel to be a fictional urban legend originating from the Internet, it undeniably captivates the imagination of many. Whether the story is true or fabricated, it highlights our fascination with the unexplained and our willingness to entertain extraordinary possibilities. The enduring allure of the vanished Flight 914 serves as a reminder of the blurred boundary between reality and the unfathomable realms. Number 5. The Near-Miss Mid-Air Case of British Airways Flight 5390 The British Airways Flight 5390 on June 10, 1990, initially seemed like a routine flight from Birmingham to Malaga. However, just 20 minutes after takeoff, something extraordinary happened that turned the flight into a nail-biting incident. Captain Timothy Lancaster and co-pilot Alistair Acheson, both experienced pilots, were at the controls as the plane reached an altitude of 17300 feet. Suddenly, there was a loud bang in the cockpit and the window blew out, causing Captain Lancaster to be partially sucked out of the aircraft. His legs became entangled in the flight controls while his body was exposed to the harsh slipstream and freezing temperatures. In a display of resilience and quick thinking, co-pilot Acheson took control and immediately sent a distress signal, declaring an emergency. He skillfully descended rapidly to a lower altitude while battling to keep the plane under control. Inside the cabin, flight attendants struggled to hold on to Captain Lancaster's legs, fighting against the strong winds and freezing temperatures. Despite the chaos, the passengers followed instructions and put on their oxygen masks and assumed brace positions. One flight attendant, Nigel Ogden, bravely took on the task of holding on to Captain Lancaster for 15 minutes until his strength gave out. This prevented Lancaster from being completely pulled out of the plane. Meanwhile, Acheson successfully managed a challenging landing with the injured captain on the cockpit floor. The crew breathed a sigh of relief upon touchdown, realizing they had survived a near-fatal mid-air accident. Their courage and professional skill were truly exceptional. Captain Lancaster miraculously survived his terrifying ordeal and spent months recovering from frostbite, fractures, and shock. Astonishingly, he returned to flying within just five months. The investigation into the incident revealed a shocking maintenance error. The windshield, replaced a day before the flight, had been fitted with incorrect bolts, causing it to detach at high altitude due to the pressure difference. The responsible party was not a British Airways employee, but a contractor who had failed to follow the airline's maintenance procedures. This incident led to significant changes in maintenance and checking procedures across the global airline industry. The case of British Airways Flight 5390 highlights the bravery, professionalism, and resilience of the flight crew, who undoubtedly saved the lives of all 87 passengers on board. It serves as a stark reminder of the unexpected dangers in aviation, and the crucial importance of rigorous safety standards and procedures. The developments in aviation safety measures and procedures since this horrific event can be attributed to the events that unfolded aboard Flight 5390. Number 6. The Open Sky Lounge, 
Aloha Airlines Flight 243. The incident involving Aloha Airlines Flight 243 in the aviation industry highlights the unexpected dangers that can occur during a flight and the professionalism of flight crew under extreme pressure. On April 28, 1988, the Boeing 737 was traveling from Hilo to Honolulu with 89 passengers and a crew of six. Approximately 20 minutes after takeoff at an altitude of 24,000 feet, there was an explosive decompression in the cabin. An 18-foot section of the fuselage on the right side blew off, causing a gaping hole from the cockpit to the four-wing area. Tragically, a flight attendant named Clarabelle Lansing was sucked out of the depressurized cabin and was never found. Despite sustaining injuries, other passengers remained inside due to their seatbelts. The damaged cabin was open to the sky, creating an unusual scene. Captain Robert Schornsteimer and First Officer Madeline Tompkins were faced with a terrifying situation. With the cockpit door blown off, they could see into the cabin and the open sky. Despite the severe damage, loss of cabin pressure, and intense wind noise, they managed to maintain control of the crippled aircraft. In an incredible display of skill, they successfully landed the plane at Kahului Airport on Maui, saving all but one of the 95 people on board. Their exceptional handling of the situation in such extreme conditions is still considered a noteworthy accomplishment in aviation history. The subsequent investigation determined that the fuselage failed due to metal fatigue worsened by corrosion. The constant exposure to a salt-rich atmosphere and frequent pressurization cycles from short flights weakened the fuselage over time. This incident served as a wake-up call for the aviation industry regarding the challenges posed by aging aircraft. It had a profound impact on aviation safety regulations. As a result, the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, introduced the Aging Aircraft Rule, mandating regular inspections for structural weaknesses on older planes. It also led to a better understanding of the effects of metal fatigue and corrosion, resulting in changes to airplane design, materials, and maintenance procedures. The Aloha Airlines Flight 243 incident, also known as the Aloha Airlines Convertible Flight, is a reminder of the unseen dangers within an aircraft's structure. It emphasizes the important role that well-trained flight crews play in ensuring passenger safety during emergencies. The successful landing of a plane with a significant portion of its fuselage missing is a testament to human skill and determination in challenging circumstances. Furthermore, the event marked a significant turning point in aviation safety, demonstrating that lessons can be learned from tragedy that lead to improvements in the industry. It highlighted the importance of rigorous maintenance and inspection protocols, particularly for older aircraft, and resulted in enhanced safety measures that continue to benefit air travel today. As a result, the legacy of Aloha Airlines Flight 243 extends beyond the incident itself, shaping the future of aviation safety. Number 7. An Unexpected Co-Pilot Legends of Gremlins the folklore surrounding the gremlins, mischievous, mythical creatures that cause trouble during flights, is deeply intertwined with the history of aviation. The term gremlin comes from an old English word meaning to vex, and while these creatures mostly emerged during the early 20th century, variations of mischievous entities causing unexplained problems can be found in folklore from various cultures. The legend of gremlins gained traction during the World Wars when pilots reported inexplicable malfunctions and failures in their aircraft. The Royal Air Force servicemen stationed in Malta, the Middle East, and India were among the first to claim sightings of these creatures. Pilots attributed strange occurrences and mechanical failures to the mischievous interference of the invisible gremlins. These impish creatures, depicted as small beings with devilish grins, were thought to interfere with engines, wires, dials, and anything else they could disrupt to unsettle pilots. Originally a way for pilots to cope with the dangers they faced, these stories spread rapidly throughout air crews and took on a life of their own. The popularity of gremlin stories grew during World War II, capturing the attention of author and fighter pilot Roald Dahl, who wrote The Gremlins in 1943, further popularizing these mischievous creatures. The interest in the legend even caught the attention of Walt Disney, who had plans for an animated film based on the book, though it never came to fruition. 
Gremlins were not only seen as troublemakers, but also symbolized respect for the unpredictable and dangerous nature of flying, particularly in the early days of aviation. Many pilots performed rituals before flights to appease these capricious creatures, considering them as guardians of the sky who needed to be respected and appeased. However, as aviation technology advanced, the stories of gremlins began to fade. With greater understanding and control of aircraft, incidents that were once blamed on gremlins could now be logically explained as mechanical or electronic failures. Nevertheless, the gremlins have not been completely forgotten and continue to be a part of aviation culture, appearing in literature, films, and even in the language used in the field. The term gremlins is occasionally used to describe any unexplained issue with the mechanical or electrical systems of an aircraft. The spirit of the gremlin lives on as a reminder of the unexplained, the unknown, and the risks involved in flight. In an era where human flight was still a new concept filled with mysteries, these creatures symbolized the tendency to attribute supernatural forces to unexplained events. They embodied the risks associated with flying and their presence in folklore acknowledged the very real and occasionally inexplicable dangers of aviation. Although we now live in an age of reason and scientific understanding, where most aircraft malfunctions can be explained by tangible factors, the stories of gremlins serve as a timeless reminder of the uncertainties that once characterized aviation. These tales represent a moment in history when humans exploring the vastness above brought along their fears and myths. Thus, the legend of the gremlins hovers in the background, preserving the charm and eeriness of those pioneering days of aviation. The history of aviation is filled with captivating and enigmatic occurrences that have had enduring impacts. Close calls in the sky, tales of supernatural creatures, vanishing and reappearing flights, daring hijackings, structural breakdowns, and spectral encounters have contributed to the development of aviation safety rules and our shared intrigue with the unexplained. These incidents serve as a reminder of the unpredictable aspects of air travel and the constant necessity for vigilance, progress, and a deeper comprehension of the enigmas that may emerge in the vast skies.